In today's video, I'm going to talk about the five disastrous things that made your run awful. That sucked. And we're starting right now. I always told you I would be honest. And I always told you that I'd be transparent. This is my journey. This is my math journey back into running. And today, yeah, I'm going to talk about, you know, what happens when you do a lot of faster workouts in one week. Man, I just had the worst math run I've had in quite a while. My pace was 7.07 today. My average heart rate was 140. Here's Don't despair. Hey, my name is David Waters and I am the Plant Powered Runner. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the bell, do all the fun things once you know what I'm all about. So, in today's video, like I said, we're gonna talk about the five things that have happened on a disastrous Maffetone training run. And it's all happened to pretty much all of us. And today, it happened to me. Number one. The reason it was disastrous could have been I did too, speed, too much speed work the week before. Yes, that's right. I've been doing 80-20 for the last number of months. Tempo runs, track runs, and just a couple of other faster runs because I got used to running fast. I may have taxed myself out. And you know what? The heart doesn't lie. So if you've gone out too hard for one week, you may have a rough go the following week. Number two, you may like drinking too much booze. <laughs> hey, I get it. I know it's fun. You've gone out with your buddies, you're sitting with your wife having a glass of wine, watching TV, watching all the crazy shenanigans that happen on TV, or maybe you're just watching this video. However, alcohol will affect your heart rate, and it's crazy what it does. I'm not necessarily a big drinker. However, when I've had a couple, I can see it the next day. It's not pretty. So you may want to limit that while you're doing your training. Number three, yes, I've talked about it before, but your diet. Here's the thing, you can't outrun a bad diet. It's true, you really can't. Sugar, oh my goodness, what that does. Carbohydrates, what that does to your heart rate, it's insane. Now, I'm not talking about vegetables, I'm not talking about fruits, right? I'm talking about the simple carbohydrates, like bagels, pastas, cookies, all those kinds of things, like the processed, foods. So you may want to limit that in your diet. Number four, you are training in the humidity and the temperatures that's unrealistic to see major gains in your training. Look, here's the thing. I know when it gets cooler, I can run faster. It's being hot, it's being humid, and yesterday and today are no different. It's been insane, like almost 100% humidity. And that's a lot for us in Canada. Now, we do get humid, but maybe not that humid. So if you're in Singapore, if you're down further south, if you're in parts of the world that really, really, really have these humid conditions, you may not be seeing the results that you want. Number five, you're dehydrated. You gotta make sure that you're hydrating with electrolytes when you're out for your run. Now, I'm gonna throw out a couple of bonus ones. Number six, five, six. You could also be running too long, right? You may be overtraining. And if you're overtraining, this is gonna be another symptom if you can't keep your heart rate down. So think about that, look at your Strava results, and make sure that you're training wisely. So you combine that with all of these other things, it's no wonder that I had a disastrous run today. 
Man, I think my heart rate just went up just talking that fast. All right, that's it, guys. Have a good one. Subscribe, like, comment, all those great things. And we'll see you back for another video right. later on in the week. See ya. Trying to find some balance in my life. But I never really put up a fight. Didn't follow my dreams.